Hello there. So some of you might have seen my previous video I did about my GoGro smart scooter singing happy birthday to me on my birthday and uh, going to the GO station to swap out the batteries. And some folks online and friends said I should do more videos about my experiences with the GoGro. So I'm planning on doing that. So today I made a real quick hands-on video to give you an overview of what it's like to own a GoGro and how it runs. Uh, I do plan on doing a more full in-depth review a little bit later on. Also uh, going in to talk about the app and the models and other features, things of that nature. But I wanted to get this video out just uh, so some folks can see what it's like to own a GoGro and some of the basic functionality. So enjoy. All right, so here's my GoGoro here. It's the GoGoro Plus. It's the model right below the S. And again, apologies in advance. I'm not a professional YouTuber or vlogger, so I'm filming this just on my iPhone. So please bear with me. Uh, but let's just go through some of the features and things that I talk about when I'm introducing friends to the GoGoro. So first of all, each GoGoro comes with two Bluetooth uh, key fobs that can be used to unlock the scooter and open the trunk. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if I push once, that unlocks the GoGoro and then unlocks the steering mechanism, like so. And then if I hit it again, it locks the scooter. Now if I push and hold, it'll open up the trunk. There we go. And inside we have our two GoGoro batteries, the lithium batteries by Panasonic. It's the same batteries that Tesla uses. That's what it looks like on the inside. And you can check out my other video that talks about swapping those in and out with a Go station. Very easy to do. Now the inside of the trunk is about 24 liters. That's a good sizable space. Um, it's not big enough to put my full helmet in, so I have to hang it on the side with those little hooks there. You can hang two helmets there. But you could put a smaller helmet and some other stuff in there. Now, something that's an optional feature for the GoGro is you can have this trunk light added as well as a USB port so you can charge uh, your device while you're riding around, which is a nice feature. So that's the trunk. Let's go ahead and close it. And let's go ahead and turn, or not, excuse me, let's unlock the GoGo run again. So, we'll unlock it. Now I can also unlock it using the GoGo Row app on my smartphone or on my Apple Watch. I can unlock it and unlock the uh, trunk if I wanted to. Now, to actually turn the scooter on, to turn the engine on, what you have to do is hold the brake and push the ignition. That's very similar to what you would do with an ICE or an internal combustion engine a scooter if you're familiar with those same exact thing. Alright, so let's talk about the dashboard itself. So on the left here we have uh, the charge that's remaining in the two batteries, the speed, the time. Auto, auto refers to your headlights. The headlights will turn on and off automatically based on lighting conditions. You can have that set to manual if you want. IQ, what IQ means is that your GoGoRo scooter is connected via Bluetooth to the GoGoRo app. And all throughout the GoGoRo scooter are sensors that are monitoring your, your ride and how the GoGoRo scooter is doing. And that information is transmitted not only to the app, so you can find out uh, information, for example, like how your average speed for the month, how many kilometers you've done this month, your maximum speed, how much CO2 you've saved. But it also sends information to the GoGoRo cloud. So not only can your GoGoRo get updates like in firmware for, and software for the GoGoRo itself, but it also transmits data, for example, telling uh, the GoGoRo people where their people are riding to. So maybe they discover, hey, this area, doesn't have a go station, a charging station. So let's put one there because most people, more and more people are going over there. And also uh, they use that to tweak the performance of your scooter. So I've noticed since the two months I've been riding that I get more mileage now uh, based on the tweaking that they've done and the updates to the scooter via the app. Next to that is smart. Smart mode, uh, what that does is it optimizes the performance of the engine. So the engine, electric motor is down here and something I noticed when I test drove the GoGro for the first time was how much torque acceleration it had it just really flew uh, when that smart mode is off now when the smart mode is on it provides a bit more of a gradual acceleration and it also gives you more mileage and just makes the performance of the scooter better overall now you can turn that off by flicking the switch here just tap it turns it off 
push it, turns it back on. Again, it just optimizes the performance of the engine and uh, provides more mileage. Now, something else down here is this S. This stands for Super Boost Mode. And Super Boost Mode just means that you get more acceleration and the scooter can go faster. You can use that in conjunction with Smart Mode if you want. I don't use it that often, so I just have that off. And then finally, down below we have our odometer. You can see how many kilometers I've ridden. If I push the trip button on the side, it tells you the trip. Uh, amount of kilometers driven this trip and then the amount remaining kilometers wise for the battery based on the charge so continuing on the right hand side here we have again our trip button that's uh, a super boost mode a button to open the, the trunk and then to control our headlights there if you want to manually have them on off or auto a smart mode our accelerator our front brake and then we have our rear brake. On this side, we have a throttle for reverse. So if I just use that, push it forward a little bit, the scooter goes in reverse. And it has a backing up sound and the lights blink. So let's take a real quick look on this side here. We have our high beams, our direction signals, our hazard lights, our horn. The direction signal, uh, usually when you turn the scooter and you've completed it, the sensor will detect that and it'll turn the direction signal off. You can turn it off manually, of course, by hitting the button again or the hazard lights. And it'll do the same thing. Um, I should say that the dashboard, when it's in a high light level during the day like this, it's white. But at night or in low lighting, you can have it customized to have rotating different colors, like, like blues and greens and purples. Or you can have it so that when you accelerate, the color changes or it'll change based on the level of your battery that's all customizable in the app same with the lights and the sounds so the lights for example the back of the scooter when you are braking you, you're at a stop you can have the back light look like it's breathing um, there's also lights on the left and right hand side of the scooter there's one there on the bottom there's also one on the other side you can have that set up so at night when you have the turn signal on, maybe when you're turning left, the left hand light will turn on or you can have it on all the time or you can have it on just when you stopped, it'll be on. So all of that is pretty much customizable through the app. Uh, another feature of the Plus is down here you have an adjustable rear shock absorber. So you can change that to change the ride of the scooter if you want it more stiff or not. With the S model, there's also one up front Mine is not the S, so it doesn't have it. And then also down here is the vent uh, that's part of the cooling system, the air liquid cooling system, so the air enters through there. All right, so to give you an idea of uh, the sound the engine makes when it's running, we're gonna do a little experiment here, a little test. We have the main kickstand up there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run the engine. Now I have it set up in the app uh, so that when it's under 25 kilometers an hour it makes a warning sound. That's because it's so quiet some people can't hear it. Um, I also have it set up so when it's over 60 kilometers an hour it'll make a warning sound. That's more for my own personal acknowledgement so I know how fast I'm going. You can have that on or off. You can change the speed so you can have it under 10 kilometers or over 50. It's all up to you. But So let's uh, take a listen. So that's the uh, warning sound. And let's take a look at the motor there. Alright, and that's what the engine sounds like. Another feature that's customizable is that when the scooter, the engine is off, you can open the trunk and that will automatically lock the scooter. Again, that's customizable. I have it set up that way because often when I open the trunk, I'm leaving the scooter behind, so I don't need to use it again. So it'll automatically lock, which is nice. But you can set it up so that, for example, if you're still driving, you forgot something, it's in your scooter, you wanna get your phone out because you were charging it, you can have it so when you open the trunk, it doesn't lock the scooter or turn it off. So again, it's all customizable. Uh, some other things uh, down here, you have a place to put your feet for the person who's sitting in the back of the scooter. They just pop out like little wings. Put that in. There's some other things you can add on, for example. Uh, right here, this comes standard, but you can hang something from here. They also have a metal Y one that you can put on to hang additional things. Uh, this is an add-on that we added. You can hold on to the back. And uh, one other interesting little tidbit is down there that's the kickstand so we have the main kickstand down but if you have the side kickstand 
If you kick that down while the scooter's on, let's see if I can do a Dutch angle, see if you can see it. Oh, yeah, I can try and do two things at once. Yeah. Oh, it turns the engine off. So as soon as you put that kickstand down, it'll turn it off. And if you try to turn it on, it won't do it. You get the little air. Oh, it even shows up on my phone. Can't turn on motor while side stand is down. Kick back the side stand and try again. So if I put it back, there you go. Hit the go. And we're good to go. And that pretty much just about does it for the go go Let's just take one more look overall. And that's the GoGoRo Plus. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm not a motorcycle or car or scooter expert of any kind. Uh, I just happen to be an average person in my mind who commutes uh, to work daily and likes to go out on weekends. And we just came back to Taiwan and needed to buy a new scooter and the GoGoRo just happened to meet our needs. So uh, please leave some comments down below if you have any questions or things I, you'd like to have me cover in the future. As I said, in the future, I'm going to do uh, more videos, uh, one that's going to be a more in-depth review of the GoGoRo, uh, the energy plans, uh, the GoGoRo models, the app, uh, the sounds that you can have, the personalization, even the sports mode, which is sort of like Tesla's ludicrous, apparently. So so again, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Or you can have them on all the time. You can have it on when you come to a complete stop. That's all customizable. Uh, just so you get an idea, let's take a look at what the lights look like. Like that. Hopefully that gentleman's music is not copyrightable. So we don't get a YouTube flag, right?